Hello and welcome to another speedy video giving you some top tips, particularly if you're a beginner at using Cubase. Today we're going to talk about key commands. Now, key commands are shortcuts. So, for example, there's some we've done before. Um, F3, function 3, gets you the mixer. Function 4, gets you the audio connections. These are all controllable, assignable, programmable in Cubase and they're called key commands or you might want to call them shortcuts. So here we go, edit, top left, key commands, there's the fella there. And um, as ever, if you're new to Cubase, it's a bit intimidating at first, but it's not that bad really. These are all the categories that you could possibly assign shortcuts to. They're all in little folders for you with a tree to drop down. Um, if you want to spend your life hunting through those, you are welcome to. Um, but if you go through them, you will find that the shortcuts that are already assigned, look, so F, auto scroll on and off, I use that a lot. Um, these are all pre-programmed for you. You can change them if you want. I wouldn't if I were you, but you could. Um, I'm going to make one now. Here we go. What shall we do? Um, let's go to uh, devices. I'm going to make one to open up my studios. Here we go. Studio setup. Here's one that I often use. Studio setup currently does not have a shortcut assigned to it. So here we go. Studio setup. Let's make a key command. Type in the key. I'm going to deliberately use one I know that is already being used, Alt-K. Now, it's telling me Alt-K is already being used, look. So I'm not going to use that, no. I'm going to use Alt, um, what should we do? Alt-0, here we go, Alt and the number 0, there we go. There's nothing assigned to that. So Studio Setup, Alt-0, and then hit the Assign button here. And that is now assigned. If you want to change your mind, there's the Delete button there. Um, I'm going to save it as a preset as well. Um, I'm going to call it um, YouTube 2 because I think I've got one called YouTube 1. So YouTube 2, I've now saved my preset and there it is. I could load another one. Look, oh look, YouTube 1. So you can make yourself lots of different setups if you so wish, but I imagine for most of you, you just might want to add some useful shortcuts to stuff that is specific to your needs. So here we go. I'm now going to shut that. Oh, sorry, I should have said macros down here. We're not going to worry about those for now. Therefore, the slightly more advanced user, another day I will go into those, but not today. So here's my shortcut. I'm going to type Alt and then zero. Da-da! And it all works. So I'll leave you to have fun with that. Thanks for listening. Have a good day. Bye-bye.